So I was uh, walking in Costco and I came across this uh, gaming chair. It's called a DPS gaming chair. And I thought, uh, because it, it says that it's actually endorsed by the American Chiropractic Association, that perhaps I will give my perspective as a chiropractor. Hi, I'm Dr. Onko and I'm a chiropractor here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada for the past 23 years now. Um, and uh, yeah, today we're going to just talk about how this is actually relevant to your spinal health, how it's going to actually, is it good for your posture? Is this uh, good for your spinal health in general? A few moments later. First off, it took two of us about 15 minutes to assemble this chair. Um, my first impression of this chair is that it's actually quite well made. Uh, you know, it's quite comfortable. The lumbar support is crucial as a chiropractor. We always look for that and it seems to have fairly good support. Uh, there's a certain spring to the, the seat as you're sitting. So you're not rigidly sitting on in one spot. And that's, uh, I think important. Uh, one thing about the lumbar support, you know, just as a, as a little bit of a note here, we have to understand that the longer you sit on a chair, you will be compressing that disc. And we know that there's a lot of, a lot of our patients that actually come in with lumbar disc herniation. And so over time, right, those discs will fail when uh, you compress it for a long, long period of time. So do keep in mind, even the best chair um, possible will, will require you to stand up every once in a while. Okay, so every 15 minutes to half an hour, you should really be getting up. Yeah, so the armrest is adjustable and that's kind of nice to have. Um, you know, so, so obviously the, uh, the seat itself, you can raise it up or down. And being 5'11", I feel that this is a pretty good chair for me, all right? Now, let me go through some of the negatives uh, that I can perhaps, you know, pick out here. Now, being that this armrest it can only go down a certain height or be raised a certain height, right? I feel like I would be more comfortable if the armrest is just a little bit lower, right? So if this can actually go a little bit lower in the next design, perhaps that would be uh, ideal. Um, another thing also is that this is as high as it's gonna get, and I'm 5'11", and I would say that this is a perfect fit for me. For somebody who is 5'11 or shorter, right, then it may be a, you know, the perfect height. Because I really wanna make sure that my feet are fully rested on the ground when I'm sitting in front of a computer, right? So I feel that if you're just a little taller, um, you know, especially if you're well over six feet, I would definitely uh, consider, uh, you know, trying it out, make sure that this is the right fit for you. Uh, as far as the headrest, um, sitting for a long period of time, I would only be using the headrest, on, you know, if I were to take a lower break from a uh, seated position. So uh, it's not a bad idea to actually be angled like this uh, for a period of time when you're resting, simply because when you're sitting straight up, there is more of a compressive force on your spine. So whereas if you're sitting back like this, you know, or resting back like this, um, you're, you're distributing all that pressure more against your upper back as well as your lower back. So when I was in Costco, I was able to try it out and I did find it very comfortable for myself. So there's a few negative points that I actually went over, but all in all, I think it's a great chair. Um, and I would highly recommend it for most people. Again, this is something that you all have to try it out yourself to see if this is the right fit for you. So if you like contents just like this, uh, just uh, like and subscribe, and perhaps put a little comment there, and perhaps there are maybe some other uh, products that you'd like us to review in the future. And don't forget, a healthy spine is a healthy life.